What's your worst wingman moment? I was flirting with this girl in a bar, we'll call her Jill, but her friend Beth was totally killing the mood, being negative and generally bringing the table down. At one point, I turned to my buddy sitting next to me and said, I wish we could get Beth to leave, so I'd have a shot with Jill. My buddy shrugs his shoulders, picks up his beer and blatantly pours it all over Beth. Not spills, picks it up and pours it down her chest and into her lap. The entire table sits there stunned for a second. Then Jill looks at me and says, you were just talking to him. Did you ask him to do that before I can reply? My friend just quips, yup, his idea. Well, I need another beer, anyone else, before getting up and heading to the bar. Needless to say, things didn't work out with Jill. Your friend's kind of a badass until he opens his mouth. This actually happened just last weekend at an adult beverage festival. Taking a photo of two friends wearing ridiculous hats when two girls photobomb us. The thing about girls photobombing is that if they are cute they are merely just accepted into the photo lovingly. But I digress. Photos over and hats removed they starting chatting my friend and I up. The two were cute. Slightly inebriated and flirting heavily so clearly the right thing to do was attack. However I honestly wasn't feeling it. Our other friends left us and being the stand up guy I am I continue conversing one of them while my friend is clearly hitting it off with the other. This goes on for what felt like I should have been drinking but finally we broke away with the girls promising to find us later. So I ask my friend if he got her number. He replied that he hadn't bother and asked the same back. At this point we had a man moment and we both realized we were being the wingman for the other but neither of us were interested. That's friendship. TL. DR. We both thought we were the other's wingman. You gift of the mage eyed each other. My wingman blew it for me once. Freshman year of college, we went to a party in our dorm. The floor below. The girl who was running the party I had a crush on and wanted to hook up with. Her clingy best friend was there and my friend was supposed to keep her occupied. Just by talking to her or whatever while I flirted with the roommate. It was working out great and by the end of the night it was just me, the girl I liked, my roommate, and the clingy girl left at the party. Clingy girl left, my roommate goes okay bye and proceeds to stay in the room with us. Even after 2 hours of subtle hits to him he stayed in the room. Eventually it hit 3am and she could sense that he wasn't going to leave and heads to bed. We both leave. Clingy best friend was actually the true woman of the crush, but was unable to successfully remove him. I was friends with this really great guy, and he'd been single for a while and was fairly shy quiet, so I decided to help him out. One night, we went to Applebee's for dinner, and I left his number for the waitress, but it was him, my two kids, and myself. I realized after we left what it probably looked like to the waitress. We both laughed, though. I tried to set him up with every single female friend I had. They'd meet him, hang out with him, and then tell me, he's great. But it's not going to go anywhere. I figured I had stupid friends. Well, one day, one of them breaks it down for me. The reason no one wanted to go for him is that, to him, they'd always be second to me. I figured I had seeked friends. Until one night, one thing led to another three months later, we moved in together, and a year later we got married. TL, DR, a foot massage will get you laid. I was confused until I realized that you're a woman. Oh man, mine happened soon after I had broken up with a long term girlfriend. My friend's wife decided to set me up with one of her friends. To take the pressure off. Since I was just out of a relationship, we agreed to do a double date. Everything was going fine. We finished dinner and retired to a coffee shop. That's when things started going downhill. For background, my friend and I like to argue a lot. There's nothing personal. We just both enjoy a good back and forth. Not like yelling arguing, but classical arguing, with both just taking a side and seeing where it leads us. Anyway, we got onto a topic. Don't even remember what it was. I think it involved Dr. Phil somehow, and my friend and I end up disagreeing. No big deal. I let it drop since this is supposed to be a date, and try to keep deflecting things to my date. To change the subject, my friend just won't let it go. He keeps prodding me. First I try okay, we'll just agree to disagree then, no big deal and he comes out with no, that's bulls, I don't agree with that, 
Finally I say okay, I agree with you, you're right, just to make him drop it so I can start actually paying attention to my date, and he starts getting angry that I would agree with him so easily, obviously he was looking for a fight, which, normally, I would have been happy to give him. Anyway, around this time the body language of my date just started getting worse and worse, went from leaning into me, to leaning away, etc. By the time we had left, it was pretty much a lost cause. So, as we're walking to the subway, he comes up beside me and starts talking about StarCraft 2. This was much before it came out, probably 4 years ago at least. He was obviously really excited about the game. We used to play SC together in high school, which was funny, but not terribly helpful to convincing the girl I was at all normal. I remember one thing he said vividly, hey, Jilf, 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 there are freaking mothships, there are mother freaking mothships in the game, it's amazing, and they like, fly around, and frick crap up, it's going to be amazing, anyway, by the time we dropped by date off, she had the look of well, that was a waste of a perfectly good evening on her face. After she was gone, I turned to him and said dude, that was the worst wing maining I've ever witnessed in my life. He looked at me with the most confused look on his face, and said what? I was supposed to be a wingman. Apparently he just thought we were going out to dinner, and the fact I was on a first date didn't enter his mind at all. Oh well, it turned out for the best. I'm married now, not to the girl in the story, never heard back from her, and quite happy. Still like to bring that up though. Friend told me about a smockin' hot tan girl he wanted me to wingman with him. I walk over and introduce myself and say hey my names, you must be the tan girl. I swear I swatted at the words as they floated out of my mouth. There was no taking them back. I feel like you could've saved it by playing it off like you said hey you must be that one girl, as in the one he's been talking about. I was working for a theme park as a show host, as well as being part of their technical team. This theme park, like many other smaller parks, outsources its main stage shows to one of a number of companies that specialize in that. These companies then hire people from across the country and set them up in an apartment. The regular employees had, of course, a welcome party for the contractors. We're all in our 20s and performers, so we're drinking. My friend, let's call him Kyle, because that is his name, and Letek comes up to me during the party and says, Man, I really like contractor Johnny, but Rob won't leave us alone. Now I'm not gay, but I am bro as frick. And this, to me was a cry for help from a bro. A man I had trained and I had spent a year seeing every dang day. So I broed the frick up and distracted the with drinks and led the poor Rob the contractor dude on all night so Kyle could have skinny gay sex. The next morning I woke up on the floor with Rob spooning me. We got in the car to leave, and I turned to Kyle and said, I brought my wingman a game last night, you owe me. Kyle laughed and said, I don't believe in watching out for each other, when I party everyone's on their own. TL. DR. Gay Kyle is not a bro. Frick gay Kyle. I was talking to a girl at a party. Now, this place was on the 18th floor of a high rise and we were out on the balcony admiring the view. My friend comes up and tells her K0MM13 told me earlier that he could pick you up and throw you off the balcony. I did no such thing. It did not go well. My buddy was into this girl at a bar so, needless to say, I kept her friend company, slept with her, got her pregnant. Now I have 14 more years of child support, blackmail, and abuse allegations left. He got her peas from the girl he was into. We both wish we would've just stayed home that night. Not sure what's worse, herpes or child support. That's why I used to keep a condom with me always. Never know when things happen. I took my male friend to a gay bar with me to check it out and hit on the straight girls that come there to just dance. Usually they like that even though they are at this place where no one should be supposedly interested in them at the bar. This sensitive straight guy is there. It doesn't hurt that both have been drinking. Anyway, we approach this group of girls and I put on the love your shoes plus here's my straight friend who came out to support me but now wants to dance with someone routine. Instead of being flirtatious and jovial he starts going on and on about his mother. Needless to say, they promptly walked away. Being a wingman is tough work sometimes. Side note, 
For those who question or are skeptical of girls and gay clubs, look in the comments for one that I posted. Till talking about your mother is not a good way to pick up girls. Came home from work, my roommate was at the computer helping some hot girl with her homework. I knew who she was, and knew she was single, and had no idea how he got her home, but good for him. Unfortunately, the guy was a slob and his crap was everywhere, but I didn't miss a beat. Hey man, I didn't know you'd be bringing anyone over, or I would have cleaned up my mess. He comes back with what are you talking about? All this crap here. I wouldn't want her to think this is your fault. It is my fault. This is all my stuff. What are you talking about? I looked her right in the eye and said, well, I tried. You saw it, turned around and left. I could hear her laughing on my way out the door. Your roommate is cool as freak, or just dumb. One of my best friends is super outgoing and better looking than I am, and was unknowingly one of the worst women I've ever had. I remember one night there were at least 5 different times where I would be talking to a girl, he would join the convo, and 10 minutes later he was grinding with said girl on the dance floor. The most frustrating thing was that he has a girlfriend that he's very committed to so he wasn't even looking to hook up. I called him out on it after that night and ever since then he's been the best wingman I could ask for. He legitimately didn't realize that he was cock blocking me left and right. Fair warning, I'm posting from my phone. Well, my worst also coincides with the first and last time I got Chris faded. My buddy Lou hadn't been laid in years. So, us being at a Halloween party and me being beyond bombed decided to get this guy some sexy time from one of the men or ladies with negotiable morals. We drink some liquid courage and he spots a good looking woman dressed as the S blue fairy. So, we mosey on over to her and her friends. He does the small talk thing and makes some progress. That is until I open my mouth. First, I can't stop staring at her chest. Second, I'm way past drunk and higher than a kite. Third, I don't know what to say, so I do what I thought was best. I say what comes to mind first. Fish guy re here is a great dude. He calls his mom and crap. You shark suck his dong. Well it didn't work. Big surprise. Her friends laughed. She didn't. I was leaning on him for stability me being drunk. He dropped me on the floor. My sister told me about this. And he confirmed. Not really a wingman moment but I was trying to boost my friend's confidence to get him to talk to a girl. Gave him the age-old advice of being confident and a slight butthole at the same time. He proceeded to walk up to a beautiful girl and ask her, what's up, down syndrome face needless to say, he didn't have much success that night. In college my roommate befriended a little cutie from Minnesota in his biology class. She would come to our dorm, with an open floor plan no privacy to study. It was obvious my roommate wanted to smash. We commenced to come up with a plan to do so. He and I decided we'd invite her and others to our dorm to drink, and see if he could manage to find his way back to her dorm to crush it after things winded down. Things go well. We all drink a lot I think the six of us killed three cases of natty. Our neighbors leave our dorm, leaving only my roommate, the girl, and myself. I was very drunk I quickly passed out. My roommate decided to roll the dice and attempt to have sex with this girl a mere 5 feet away from me. I woke up at maybe 3am to write make thumping of a bed frame. Though shaken, I was facing them I played it cool and feign sleep until he could wrap things up. I'm proud I didn't alert them of my consciousness. It's never okay to cock block. Nice job and fat props. Here's an upvote for a good bro. Once during pilot training I was on Leeds wing, doing practice maneuvers and the like. It happened to be around noon, and one of the maneuvers involved relatively high angles off bank. Sure enough, I lost visual contact with lead in the sun during a high G turn. I broke out like we were trained to, but then it took about 10 minutes to get back into formation. 10 minutes is a long time when you only have an hour or so to do all your formation work, and it was a big debrief item for me. Read. Getting yelled at. And that was my worst wingman moment. Technically relevant is my favorite kind of relevant. This is my buddy's wingman story. I, for the first time in my life, was picked up by a girl at a bar. I was at the bar with my buddy, and these two girls were there. He and I went back to her house in the middle of nowhere with her and her friend. She had a pool. We had been doing shots all night. Naked pool time. 
so I ended up upstairs for the night with the girl. My friend stayed in the pool with her friend. She was heavier, but very cute. They are making out and she starts all this nervous chatter about how she looks fat. He says don't worry about it, and continues to kiss her. He wasn't exactly a model himself. She takes that as him calling her fat and begins to get loud. He says, okay then, we don't have to make out drunk and naked in a pool and swims away. She starts pining for his attention, but his buzz has been stabbed and is bleeding out towards death. She starts yelling at him. He gets out of the pool. She continues to run her mouth and he mutters that she has something wrong with her. She says, oh yeah, well you're nothing but a frickin' wingman. He laughed and proceeded to walk 10 miles back to civilization to be picked up by a girl that liked him at 4am. He got laid that night. I didn't. Sounds like something the Dos Equus guy would do. I guess this is more of a cock black story. I was at a party with some friends and a cute girl grabs me and says, I love your shirt to which my wingman, who was standing right beside me, turns to her and lets out a loud wah. Ugh sound which she took to be offensive I guess because she gave him a scowl and walked away. I still haven't forgiven him. It was a little longer than the cock white stories I'm used to. This one was not at all my fault but probably one of the funniest things to ever happen to me. So about a year ago my friend and I got dragged by a few girls from class to this crappy country bar line dancing club. I'm hanging out with them in the general vicinity of the dance floor and a girl taps me on the shoulder and asks if I want to dance. I'm not single so I tell her I'm taken and she moves on. Not 10 minutes later another girl taps me on the shoulder and asks the same thing. I assume I stand out because I'm one of the only guys there not wearing a John Deere hat and a plaid shirt tucked into my jeans. I tell her I'm taken and she leaves me alone. My buddy with me, who was also bored as heck, was single at the time so I decide to try and send someone his way if any other girls want to dance with me. Sure enough another girl taps me on the shoulder and I begin the sentence hey, I'm taken. But you should talk to my friend over here unfortunately my friend only hears me say I'm taken, sees me point to him, and he gets the wrong idea. Before I finish the sentence he immediately puts his arm around me and says in the most stereotypically gay voice possible oh, I'm sorry honey, he's with me. The girl just stares blankly at us for a few seconds and goes good for you guys, totally buying it. My only regret is that we doubled over laughing before the girl even turned around. I wasn't the wingman, but my friend was. I was at the bars with a couple of my friends. One of my friends says he is gonna find me a nice girl. Well shortly after that he succeeds. He finds a couple of cute girls and introduces them to me. We are all talking for a little while. One of the girls asks where we are from. We are all from a town about 200 miles away from where we currently are. Then they ask what brings us to our current location. My friend says it's his bachelor party and points at me. My jaw drops and I just stare at him. Shortly after that, the girls bailed. I have yet to see a best wingman thread and this story must be shared. My friend got a new place and was having a party. So there is this super cute girl there and I start to chat her up. The thing is that she had a very clingy, ugly friend who was one of those chicks who is bitter because men won't give her a pounding. Because she is a bitter fat chick. So I am talking to this girl. She is giving me the let's frick now vibes and I was stoked. She was invited to the party by a friend of hers and asked me if I lived there. I look over at my buddy and he proceeds to tell her how I live here. My room is the one on the right. Then turn to the fat chick and try to distract her. As we were walking to my, my friend's room. The fat chick grabs the girl and tries to pull her away saying let's go. My buddy proceeds to step in and yet again distract the girl long enough for us to get into the room and get down to the business. So we are going at it, and I hear sporadic pounding on the door and whatnot. Find out later that the girl was trying to get in to stop us and my friend was a physical barrier between her and the door. My friend literally fought off a fat chick so I could get laid. TLDR. I was freaking a chick. Fat friend tried to bust in and stop it, my wingman put himself between the fat chick and the door to stop her. The most heroic story I have ever heard. Greatest wingman alive fighting off a ferocious dong blocking beast. I was at a party with a friend once and he wanted to go over and talk to a girl but he wanted me to wingman because she was talking to her friends. While we were all talking, the girl that he was interested in lost interest and walked away. The two, quite hot, 
I might add, friend stayed with me and I spent the rest of the evening with them. My friend just walked away awkwardly and ate food alone the whole evening. I feel kinda bad. Not really. I was invited to an amusement park by my best friend. His girlfriend had suggested that I go because I'm funny and people really enjoy hanging out with me. That's what I though anyways. Turns out my buddy's girlfriend invited her distant friend who resembled a stack of tires with a cigarette hanging off of her lips. We left pretty early in the morning and all Jabba the Hutt demands Waffle House before we even left the driveway. She gets her fill of free pancakes, on my dime, and proceeds to engage everyone in conversation about her recent breakup. She cried almost the entire car ride to the park. Fast forward 12 hours and it's late. We ride one last coaster after dinner and she hurls chili cheese fries all over the place immediately after we get off the ride. To cap the night off she wanted to kiss me. On the mouth. I still have nightmares. That was 15 years ago. My buddy was really into this girl on a party. So I started talking to her. He is really shy. And got her 3 tequilas. To make it easier. Wind up 10 minutes she pukes all over my friend. Well. That sounds like a good night out to me. A favorite story of mine from college. A couple of buddies and me went to a Halloween party at a buddy's frat house. We all get there and kinda split up as it was a pretty big house. About an hour later I'm wandering around and a girl I've met a few times before runs up to me and tells me they're starting a game of alligator dentist in someone's bedroom. So who's passing that up? No one. I walk into the room and my buddy, we'll call him Fred is in there with a smockin' hot blonde in a sexy bee costume. So, it's me, Fred, Bumblebee, and this other girl drunk in this room. Well, turns out the girls would play alligator dentist such that, if you lost, you had to kiss one of the other players. Now at the time both Fred and I are in long term, long distance relationships and this Bumblebee chick is just so obviously ready to frick his brains out. He goes and the alligator snaps shut on his hand and he just looks at me with a look of sheer horror. We both knew that in order for this situation to not escalate into an orgy, he was gonna have to kiss me. Thankfully he was sober enough to kiss me on the cheek. So I realize, at this point, I've got to stop him from beefing this chick so what do I do? I ripped the nastiest silent but deadly fart fueled by a nachos bel grand you've ever smelled. Took about 30 seconds for the chicks to dip out. Fred was out of there faster than a fat kid in dodgeball. I catch up to him outside and he just grabs me by the shoulders and thanks me profusely for crapping my pants. Him and that same girlfriend got married a few months ago. I was wingmanning for a friend of mine recently after he broke up with his girlfriend. We were at the bar, and I had managed to get him into a conversation with a lovely girl. Unfortunately, he was far too drunk. And while he was standing in line at the bar he leaned forward and threw up all over his own shoes. He immediately sprinted for the exit. I was going to follow, but I knew our house was only a couple blocks away and I knew that he would make it. I wound up taking the girl home myself. For shame. It kind of plays in. I was the wingman. A position I have played many, many times. A comrade of mine met a female that lived a bit close to the base we were stationed at and they wanted to meet up. Problem was, she had a friend. He explained the situation and asked for a picture of this friend. One was promptly offered. Only problem was, there was a red flag in this picture. It was face only and she was a bit cute. Being a well decorated wingman I knew the cue. Morbidly obese. We all meet at the designated hotel and proceed with the usual small talk. My friend begins putting his best moves on the girl of his choosing. Then I hear her say, not in this, we'll call her, Susan, gets laid too. I swallow my pride and chase it with two shots of Jim Beam. Game on. I engaged in drunken intercourse with this transit bus with legs. My friend found himself don blocked as his date informed him that she had to leave. I jumped on the grenade and never got a medal. TL. DR. I fricked a bipedal water buffalo in vain. In vain. We tried a tactic that we dubbed, White Knight for the first and last time. It involved three people. My friend and I would go up to a girl group of girls and act like drunk buttholes. After a 30 seconds or so, the person we are wingmanning was supposed to come over and apologize for our behavior, saying things like they are just really drunk. Sorry about my friends. 
The logic was that we completely avoided any approach anxiety and he would look like a good guy in comparison. We thought this was a good tactic to make our tall large MMA fighter friend look less intimidating. The problem was that we planned this when we were crap faced. For loco Halloween crap faced. The guy that was supposed to come over and be a good guy didn't quite get the plan. So my friend and I, four loco schwasted, acted like drunk buttholes to this group of really nice girls for about an hour while the guy who was supposed to come over just stood and starred at us angrily. Eventually, I know an hour is too long, we just got so embarrassed that we decided to leave. At this time, our friend who had been starring at us angrily decided that now was the time to confront us about being buttholes. Remember how 4 loco used to be just crap tons of caffeine and mauled liquor in concentrations that resulted in emotional roller coasters? Yeah, so he is yelling at us in the middle of someone else's house about how we should treat women better and threatening to kick the crap out of us. That didn't really make him look less intimidating. Quite the opposite. The already traumatized group of nice women were seriously freaked the crap out. It was embarrassing. Never again. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.